Hello, uh, welcome to my latest video. I'm back on birds and uh, my second attempt at a kingfisher. Hope you like it. Um, if you do, please consider subscribing and liking and you could also hit the notification bell which would help enormously. Um, on to the video. Right, okay, uh, what's different about this Kingfisher as opposed to my last one? I'm going to be using a very similar technique, but the main difference is the last one was on Yuppo paper, which is a plastic paper, and this time I'm doing it on Ampersand's clay board. The clay board's a lot more expensive, but um, I am finding it's, it's a better surface. You, you get what you pay for quickly you just saw there that I I started off by masking off the silhouette I didn't bother showing me cutting out the mask not very interesting and then just sprayed this dark background and when that was done I I had pre-cut out some the shapes for the yellowy orange and the blue and just gave a quick even spray with that now as you can see I'm using a scalpel to scratch out the lightest parts of, of the bird which on a kingfisher is you can see these little white dashes that they seem to have I was going to uh, do similar with the beak spray a little bit of black but it's such a small area I thought I'd um, do the whole thing in color pencil which I, I have uh, you may have seen a briefly seen a brush no, there it goes again a brush in there and what I'm doing there I'm using a product called um, zest it pencil blend and you just dip a cl clean brush into that and and uh, get most of the the liquid of the brush because it uh, you really just want the brush to be damp and when you brush it over the pencil it slightly dissolves the the pencil and and blends it here now I'm um, putting the darker areas in with colored pencil the um, the basic technique of for the whole of the bird here is uh, I will spray a bit of color scratch out the, the highlights and and put the darker areas in colored pencil and basically keep going keep layering the, this way so uh, until I've uh, achieved the results I wanted starting to uh, really build up the colors with with the pencils here but it is at the moment looking a, a little bit flat so back with the airbrush and uh, a little bit more overall color those uh the mask you just saw there was um was cut in acetate because um I, w I knew I was going to reuse that one over and over if I'd done it in paper or frisk, which a frisk was the mask I used for the original silhouette because I that was definitely going to be a one-off. But when you do these masks on acetate, they stay in good condition. You could you could in theory use them forever. So I I decided there on the on the blue of the wing I I needed a to really push back what I'd um, I'd already done, and now uh, there I'd, I just re-established the the white parts. So each time I scratch in the highlights, I'm doing less and less because um, because I knew there was going to be more colour sprayed over the top. The first highlights weren't just the highlights; they were sort of midtones as well. But now I'm getting closer to the end. It's only the highlights I'm scratching out. 
back again with those uh, acetate masks. Getting close now. Right now I've uh, moving on to the the final part, which is the bird's feet and the the little twigs he's uh, perched on. I'm doing these in various pinks and purples for the for the branches because they really it really was that color, it's quite amazing. This is all quite fine detail, so. I decided to go 100% with the uh, color pencils. It's not the main focus of the, the painting anyway. Just saw there again uh, another quick go with the zest it blend and uh, that's it uh, do have a look at the uh, first kingfisher and uh, see which one you prefer thank you for watching <laughs>